What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 29 through 32, continuing the Soul Society arc. Very, very excited. Before we get into anything, we do have a question over here on the Discord, the Q&A section. If you guys don't know, I have a Discord Q&A section where you guys can ask me any question pertaining to any show, and I'll try to answer it in the next reaction I do for that show. This one comes from Merc, who asks, who is your favorite character so far? And in comparison, since you just hit 28 episodes, who in the big three as the best first 28 episodes wow you're making it a very controversial very interesting question um my favorite character so far in bleach your typical person wants to go ichigo because he's that swaggy drippy don't give a shit main character and i always appreciate that about him and i'm sure he will move up to my favorite character eventually but right now it's weird to say but it's probably chad like, I just love his stoicism and his willingness to put his literal body on the line and sacrifice himself for a random parrot, you know, who ends up being, I think his name's Shibata, the little kid, whether it's Ishida jumping out of the cannon and, you know, saving him. Like, he is willing to, to end Karin and Ichigo's sister. Like, he is willing. He's one of those, like, selfless, wholehearted, good guys that I think everyone would want as a friend. So Chad's my man right now. It's got to be Chad. But like, I love Rukia. I love Ishida. Kisuke is up there. He, like, there's a lot of great characters in Bleach. So that's a great question. And who in the big three has the best first 28 episodes? I think in terms of pacing and overall, like the conglomerate of the 28 episodes, it probably is Bleach. But who has the best singular episode in the first 28 episodes? I still think it goes to Naruto at the end of the Tenshi Bridge, not Tenshi Bridge, uh, the, the Naruto Bridge in the, the Land of Waves arc when uh, Zabuza is crying and all that. Like, I still think that personally is the best episode of the big three in the first 28, but overall, first 28 probably goes to Bleach. As again, that's a hot topic. Great question, though. I appreciate you. I appreciate that question. And don't forget, if you guys want early access up to 16 episodes, as well as the full length version, check out that Patreon down below. We are live on Twitch watching this. So come on over. It is a vibe. I appreciate y'all immensely. I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, Bleach episode 29. Let's do it. All right. Bleach 29. Love the title cards. He's a bad matchup for Ishida because Ishida's goaded, but I really like the form of his Anpakuto. Like the flying shurikens. You know, they're really not shurikens. This is one of the best moments. Just like that, they're all destroyed. <laughs> oh. I realized you could have impaled both that man's feet. I don't know if he's genuinely praising him. Or if he's just capping right now. Oil me, bake me. Hey. He's gonna let him go. Gotta have our main characters be kind-hearted people, you know? Will it now? He shoot as fast as hell with that, too. I like his finger being the guide, the way his, it goes into his wrist to pull. Double arrow through the chest. Swaggy way of releasing his bow. Ishii does himothy right now. Wow. It's our way of killing soul reapers without really killing them, you know? That's sufficient. Ishida's just got a good heart. Still no mercy for them, though. I appreciate that. I respect it. I always love Orihime. She has this kind of goofy funness to her that I always appreciate. We should cut back over to Ganju. Hey, I think Ichigo's getting chased, too. Obviously, 2011's Hunter x Hunter came out after this, so having Knuckles voice actor do Knuckle after Ganju fits. They're literally like the same character. I love them. And they're both masters at running away. <laughs> I see up, Ichigo. 
If there's one thing that I'll always get my spirits lifted, it's the music in Bleach. It's so good. He's a little bit of a klutz. We're gonna hold him hostage. Even though we're obviously not gonna do anything to him. That's hilarious. And Pashi's still looking for him. I'm positive it's this way, I think. These guys are a horrible combo when it comes to directional <laughs> choices. We're never going to see Kenpachi fight, are we? That is that is too much. Maybe they didn't hear us. Just repeat it. They literally just repeated it. They're doing him dirty. Thirteen squads. Kenpachi's their squad leader, their squad captain. It makes sense. Them having weird hairstyles also fits with Kenpachi's vibe. I see. Interesting. Wow. That was the least expected <laughs> outcome to this scenario. Just because you don't like him? Yeah, go ahead and kill him for us. I'm trying to think who that could be. Chad, maybe? Now they just have to deal with one half of the guy. <laughs> Jesus. Is that Chad? No, it was. You did, but he just dipped. I don't want us to be separated for too long, so I would love for you to follow him and chase him. See, fourth squad general relief station. I want to see Chad kind of go ham. Ooh, Daddy Kaku in the relief station. He wants to interrogate him. Hold to pieces. What the hell? This guy's a goober. That actually is a lie, which is crazy. He does most certainly know. Wow. Wow. I don't know if he's doing that for disdain because he doesn't like him or because he respects Ichigo's resolve and the way they fought. Kenpachi is not going to let this go down. Urotsushi. So far, he's my least favorite captain of the bunch. We got Ichimaru right above him. Her being a lieutenant is so interesting to me. Usually, girls like that that are kawaii but still in positions of power are very strong, you know? He has no issues telling the information to Kenpachi, so man, Kuro Tsushi, I agree. And he tells him his objective. That just makes Kenpachi happy. He wants a good fight. Hanataro. I gotta get this guy's name. I like him so far. Hanataro. I mean, he's friendly to Rukia, so he might be on our side when it comes to saving her. He really, so this actually might be a good alliance. Finally. 
I know where it's at. The secret way. Anataro coming in clutch. Oh, Kenpachi is him. He wants that smoke, and I respect it. All right, this is episode 30. Dope ass title screen, like always. A lot of different shows have the sewer system for the secret ways in and out, you know? Uh, shout out Hanataro, man. Everyone knows about it, but no one would expect you know about it, so there's no way they're just going to come down here on patrol duty or anything like that. That's fucked up, but I'm the type that always respects the support, the healers, the relief, the aid. So I feel bad for Squad 4. It's a fair question to ask. Ah, that would also make sense. Come on. Shout out Hanataro. Yes, indeed. Renji's about to get around two. He remembers that spiritual pressure Ichigo had and how gangster he can be. If Byakuya didn't step in back in the day, you know? Jirobo's Jidanbo's younger brother? That Loki makes sense. He's got a little more on his mind right now. And he knows Ichigo would be coming directly for Rukia as well. Uh, is he going to wait in the, the tower? I just enjoy hearing Rukia's voice. We haven't seen her in so long, man. We got to get her out of there. <laughs> man, already I missed the days when... <laughs> I was about to say, I already missed the days we were at school drinking juice boxes, man. Times were simpler then, you know? We were just dealing with hollows, dealing with mod souls like Khan. Now we're fighting in a societal government. There's a trick to dream. <laughs> Rookie is funny. Anataro. I hope you can come to the human world and we can give you a juice box as well. That's so funny. About this one person, and that one person was Ichigo Kurosaki. Hearing that from Hanataro about Rukia is just reaffirming his resolve, making sure he's going to get her out of there. Even though it was only two months, which is a long time in the human world compared to most Soul Reapers, they don't be coming over there that often. Like, we went through a lot together. Both of you guys feel like that. You think it's your fault, she thinks it's her fault. W mans, W mans. I just like the design of this whole place. Probably gonna be Renji if I had to assume, but I could totally be incorrect. That red hair, that's some red hair. I was not expecting our round two gonna be this soon. We're not gonna forget you. Abarai <laughs> Renji. <laughs> To Hanataro, yeah, fighting a lieutenant is going to be quite crazy, so... But little does he know about Ichigo's talent and potential. And things are slightly different since last time, Renji, so this is about to be, this is about to be crazy. Both have some good points. Alright, round two, Renji and Ichigo. 
Don't cut away, even though I love Kenpachi. He was also there that night with Renji. He can also tell he's fighting Renji. Alright, let's get going. Shout out Ishida, shout out Orihime. Chad, I really want the gang to start meeting up together. Ganji, you really don't know the limits of our of our potential. What's the name of Renji's on Pakuto? Like Zabi Maru, something like that? Oh my god. We're shoving him back. That's a fair question. Not only do we have 11 lieutenants left, and we still have 13 captains. We'd either have to sneak her out or be a god. He makes a fair point. I respect Ichigo's answer. Yo, I love his Zanpakuto. I really do. Good block. The way it can extend. The way it's like a whip, sword, saw. With its teeth in there. I did not realize that in our first fight in the human world. Interesting. That's, that's quite the change. I'm not going to say he blocked that like it was nothing. But he's the one saying it, so hey. <laughs> he's like, you just reassured me that I'm going to be able to save Rukia. You love that shot. You feeling something, Rukia? You can look down out the window, I think, right? That's where the episode's going to end. It will be continued. All right, episode 31 with Renji's uh, Zabimaru as the bat. Uh, great title cards, great title cards. My man, even though he says that attack didn't affect him at all, he's kind of gushing blood from his head, so. Yeah, you can tell he's talking his shit, but he is, he is feeling that. What are we going to do in this situation? Like I said, I also think Renji really likes Rukia as a person, so I get why he's upset and wants to save her and keep her alive, or why he's blaming Ichigo, but I have a feeling we're going to come to an agreement of some sort. I don't think Renji's going to die. I don't think Ichigo's going to die, obviously. They're going at it. Baga. Not want, I will. I respect that. He is tearing up his shoulder. Okay. There are drawbacks and limitations, conditions. Touche. And so for the Zabimaru, it's three. He's starting to study, Renji. Okay, we got to use that timing to our advantage. Shout out Kisuke for teaching us, too. That's one. We gotta pull it back We do get the only opening we've had Oh but He just cleanly sidestepped Ooh. That was well played by Renji That Zabi Maro be tearing shoulders up I swear 
We're gonna have to do something. She gonna be able to look out and see us. All right, we got Mr. Yoruichi running around. I'm just genuinely curious how, after this fight, are we gonna save Rukia? Are we gonna have to fight Kenpachi? How is this gonna work out? Because Ichigo's already taken a beating. Both his shoulders are torn up. Got a gash in his head. Renji still looks fine. That's why he's gonna put you in a situation of life or death, force you to use it. This man's like Jiraiya to his Naruto. Just throw him in a fucking ravine. Ooh, ooh! Kisuke is clean with it. No time to even recover or breathe. He's on your ass. Oh my god. Kisuke, relax. Actually, don't, because we need the training, but relax. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. Your sword exhibits fear. Wow. We can't be having no pussies around here. I like this. I like his way he's describing this, his reasoning right now. I like Kisuke right now. So much of it comes from the will, the resolve. It's not that you fear letting it happen, it's you're not going to let it happen. Maybe a change of mindset was all he needed. Already Ichigo looks like a different guy. Guitar is always hitting in these songs. It's crying. They're calling out to each other. Ooh spiritual essence of these Zanpakuto. And they nuked the whole training area. That would be me. I would be Tessai right there. Like, what in the hell? I love the way they just slashed and crossed. And they're still standing at the two edges. Every great anime main character has got to have resolve like no one, like no other. As we cut back to the Renji fight. I love the song every time they play it. He's in that same situation. He's tempered his resolve. Oh yeah. Hanataro can tell. <laughs> I love the way his, eye, his eyes be glimmering when he's about to do this. Oh! Calmly controlled, and without a doubt, it's much stronger. Ooh, great dodge. And when you strike, when you attack, you kill. And just like that, Renji is done for. This is getting real deal crazy. As you just see the split floor from where Ichigo is standing. Even though Renji did get low diffed, he got his ass whooped. I'm hoping he can get, gain something from that fight. Learn a man's resolve, you know? He could totally get stronger from that, you know? Alright, this is exactly where we left off. Renji is officially defeated. Huge W to Ichigo. Resolve is a very necessary component. Ooh, he sees Rukia. He blames himself, but also he feels... Ooh, that's a great title screen. He blames Ichigo because he thinks Ichigo's the reason he's gonna die. That's why he was fighting so hard. That's why I'm hoping us and Renji can come to an understanding. Oh, shit. We get to see a flashback? Oh, 
So now I'm curious where Rukia plays in. We'll speak of the devil with a clean sweep on the legs. Ruki is also from the same area in this district. Wow. See, I knew they were old friends, but I did not know they were old friends like this. Rukia seems like the person to stand up to the people being bullied, the younger kids, you know? She seems like that type of person, just good hearted. Ooh, good dodge. Ooh, he's got talent already. I agree, I agree. Renji's got a little bit of a crush. Understandable with how swaggy she is. I did not know Rukia was like this as a child. I like getting this flashback after Renji was defeated, fighting for her, you know. One of the kids is going to be a soul reaper. Okay. Mm, so there's a uh, soul reaper currently right now that's why they have such nice things in this low-end district when they said that brad is going to be a soul reaper is this him Both very natural talents when it comes to spirit energy, but obviously Rukia excels. Ten years, huh? Time flies. Oh, wow. That is horribly sad. They were cool little kids, too. Both enter the Soul Reaper Academy. Damn, man. Especially being from the Rukon district with all these nobles, you know. Makes me very curious how Rukia ends up being a part of the Kuchiki noble family. Nice of her. Every, every, the thing that everyone else is going to bring him down for. Your one true friend's going to, you know, raise you up for. Shout out Rukia. Good hearted person. I mean, I'm not the type of person who holds grudges, but like the fact that he made it to a lieutenant of squad six, Renji really made it, you know? I won't lie, I like their school uniforms. With the red on the girls, blue on the boys. That's definitely Byakuya. We will await a favorable answer. It's crazy that he ends up becoming the lieutenant for Byakuya. The pressure you must feel. Oh, not just spiritually. I was assuming more so socially from this nobility walking past you of this caliber, but that's crazy. Adopt me as their daughter. 
They'll let me graduate right away. Expedite the whole process. She doesn't want to leave him, obviously. But Renji, being such a good friend, wants to encourage her. She's going to make it, you know? Good man. W, Renji. Right? It's been their goal the whole time. Obviously, he doesn't want her to leave him as well. But he's going to keep a good face. Be very encouraging about it. They have a really interesting but really great friendship. Damn. She feels torn. Technically find a family, you know, but... He wants what he wants her to be happy. Her happiness is what leads to his happy. You know, like that's pretty deep right there, I won't lie. That was a greatly placed flashback as Renji loses and he feels the guilt from letting her you know. I did not know they went that deep, man. I'm a stray dog all the way down to my bones. This is one of my favorite songs they play too. only bark at the stars i don't have the guts to jump he is getting he's spitting bars right now he's getting deep what's he gonna say that's why he's diverting his anger towards ichigo Damn, Renji's growing on me a lot. There's so many cool characters that they developed just greatly in the show. Swallowing my shame and asking you, save her? That hits right there, I won't lie. That's W Renji. Music is beautiful right now. Unreachable fang and flames. So that I need not look at that star. Man, they be getting poetic in this show. What's good with Bleach, man? God damn, that was deep. I know I've said this on multiple episodes already, but the complexity that this show hits me with is, just, is so unexpected to me for some reason. Like, Renji's flashback was such well placed after his battle with Ichigo but also affects like I, going back and watching Renji and Byakuya first come to the human world and dealing with Ichigo probably hits even further, you know, harder after that, you know, it was such a well done flashback. Renji's growing on me immensely. I love that they both came from nothing. They lost their friends. They're, they're the only family they had along the way. They decided to make a better, a better life for themselves. And throughout some sort of circumstances, Rukia got, adopted into a noble family and obviously him wanting to be the good friend he is was hoping for her happiness so he told her to go not knowing obviously the path that it would lead down and stuff like that the consequences she would now be facing but it's just insane the the complexities emotionally and societally that are in this world you know like i did not think soul society when i first heard about it we would be dealing with anything anything even remotely like this so huge shout out to the show for or hitting the heartstrings, you know. Huge shout out to Renji, W Mans. Huge shout out to Ichigo for also going along with it wholeheartedly. He will save Rukia. It's not that I want to, it's I will, you know. They're spitting bars with being a stray dog who can bark at the stars, but not too afraid to jump. Like, damn, man. Shit hits, you know what I'm saying? With the music, too. Overall, W episodes. I'm super excited to see Kempachi. Super excited to save Rukia and see where this art goes. Like I said, I never expected the Soul Reapers to be our antagonist right now. I don't know how this is going to end or work out. I don't think we're going to be able to face 11 other lieutenants and 13 captains. Like, I don't know how this is going to happen. But I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon for early access, full length. Come on over to the Twitch if you guys want to watch this live with us. It's always a vibe. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Because you never know when they're going to get condemned to death by nobility. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.